Okay, so for eyeballs, um, you start with a little bit of clay and you are going to make a ball. And you are going to put that in your eye socket. You want them to be the same size. Um, you also want to look at it sideways again. Um, if you have a picture of the side of your head, look at how far your eye, your ball, eyeball, sticks out from the side. And then what I'm going to do is on either end, I'm going to press it down so that it creates a dome, a half sphere. And you can use clay tools for this, um, especially if you've done a smaller portrait. In your can't use your fingers. So you can see that one I've pressed down. So I'm doing the same thing over here so that we have kind of one high spot right here and then the edges slope down. That's because we didn't sculpt like the full skull so we won't have an actual full eyeball. But we do want part of it to stick out. For the eyelids, we're going to do a very similar thing that we did for the lip. Um, take a little bit of clay, roll it into a ball. Just like the lips, we're going to press one side down and then I stretch out the edges to lengthen it. Once we have it like this, I'm going to press my finger and curve it upward. So that we have this thicker thinner side. Then I'm going to place it over my eye, smooth it down into the creases, into the edges. If you have um, like your clay tool, again I forgot mine, you can start pressing it around that dome, that half of an eye you created. And that starts to press down for an eyelid. And then you can smooth this up and that starts to create your brow ridge. You want to make sure that this makes it to the corner of your eye. Like that. Again, I have my profile picture up, picture of me in profile, so that I can see how far everything sticks out. So then we have our other little half of clay. Same thing for the bottom eyelid, pressing one side of that down. And then we're going to kind of pop it the other direction. Let's flip it this way, it fits better. And then again, press in. If you have too much, you can always scrape some clay off. But we want to make sure that it meets in the corner that your eyelids meet. And this comes down and starts to create your cheek. We're starting to get an eye. 